And so for the early evening, that's the big game. Six o'clock, less than an hour now till the Sunflower Showdown Part 3. And that, of course, is K-State and KU. The Jayhawks, of course, are the favorite to win. They are the number one seed in the Big 12 tournament. The Wildcats, though, may be without a key player. And we want to turn now to Tom Martin and Danny Welniak with more on that because, guys, I mean, if they don't have Dean Wade, this could be a huge blow to K-State tonight. Yeah, Ellen, that's absolutely right. We're live from right outside the Sprint Center right now. And the teams just arrived a few moments ago. Yep. Tom Martin, he was there for K-State's arrival. Uh, but there's a few wrinkles when it comes to this Sunflower Showdown for a third time. It's interesting, right? Some weird quirks in the sense that both the big guys who are such keys to both these teams are not playing in this one. Dean Wade for K-State. We'll get to him in a second. But first, Udoka Azubuki again missing an action. Yeah, he missed yesterday. He's going to miss this entire Big 12 tournament like we've been been talking about, but we saw how KU responded without him. Mitch Lightfoot, Silvio De Sosa combining for 14 points and stepping up his in his place. But now that they've done it without him, they found the concoction for winning, and their guards know that they've got to step up once again today as well. We got to come out with a lot of energy. Uh, we know we can't, we don't got him to block shots or catch lobs, so you know we just got to make make a way and figure it out. Okay, so now they've done it without him. They know what they need to do. KU taking on K-State. KU is 9-0 and in the Big 12 tournament against K-State. And you know what? It doesn't help for K-State. No Dean Wade. He is really their most important player. Not going to play in this one thanks to a foot injury. And this is unknown territory. He's been yeah. so consistent. They don't know what life is like without Dean Wade. And you know what? Forget Barry Brown, the leading scorer. It all goes through number 32, the big guy there. We saw him arriving here at Sprint Center about 20 minutes ago. A big old left boot on that foot. We saw him walking in with Cartier Jara, and you know what, Wade, a big loss, top five player in the league perhaps. Not many people saw the injury last night. It was a big surprise. One guy who did was Wildcats broadcaster Wyatt Thompson. Well, I kind of felt like I saw it because it was on the end where I was at yesterday. I, I couldn't tell for sure, but it, it looked like after it happened, he wasn't the same. They didn't use him the same. And I think this is certainly a precautionary thing because <laughs> in all honesty, you want to win today and you want to get to tomorrow. But really, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about next week, I think. So we expect Kamau Stokes, the junior guard, veteran guy, he's been in these spots before, yeah. to see some more playing time. This would be a small ball game, which is KU's game so far this year. K-State's going to have to join them. Yeah, we've seen the guards step up. Malik Newman, 30 points last night, a yep. career high tonight. These two tip off at 6 p.m. We will have live coverage after the game as well. One team goes to the championship, one team goes home. <laughs> live from the Sprint Center, I'm Danny Welniak for Tom Martin, KCTV5 Sports. Danny and Tom, thank you so much. Yeah, it's never a good sign when you see Dean Wade walking into the Sprint Center in a boot. That is certainly not something that you want to see if you are a Wildcat fan. Now this, of course, is not the only game tonight. There's a huge game at 8 o'clock as well involving my Texas Tech Red Raiders and the West Virginia Mountaineers. It should be a pretty good game, too, because Texas Tech is the number two seed and West Virginia is the number three seed. Bob Huggins and his Mountaineers, they're coming into town and they look pretty darn good. They just basically pounded Baylor last night. So this should be a pretty good matchup for your nightcap at 8 o'clock. Right now here at the Sprint Center, Texas Tech, they are going to start, I'm sorry, at PL rather, they are doing their pep rally. They're taking the stage here, getting people fired up. I'm pretty fired up myself. But that's what this is all about, Gary. You see everybody wearing their team colors. Iowa State fans, they're even still here, and their team lost on the first night. Right. Well, you know, that is Iowa State, though. They, they <laughs> yeah. enjoy the weather. Yes. They haven't had a temperature above 40 degrees, I think, all wintertime long. They wow. had like a eight feet of snow this year, so they're just enjoying life down here. And, of course, we welcome everybody from all over the Midwest to Kansas City. We're pretty proud of our city, and we're glad you're here. Yeah, we sure are. All right, we want to send it back to you now, Brad, in the studio. But what a great day to be out here in downtown Kansas City. You know, you were both talking about that wing eating contest earlier. That would be must see TV if we had Gary and Ellen in a wing eating face off. Oh. Yes. Oh. Let's do it. We, oh. we, need, to, we need to work on that. All right, we'll check in. 